Hi guys, welcome again to the channel, Stan KO here with another new and unique game that we will try today. The name is called Iron Hive and this is unique deck building strategy game set in a post-apocalyptic world that combines deck building mechanics with survival and colonism elements. So, in next to 20 minutes we're gonna check uh, this game out, uh, by the way this is uh, a demo, the game is not uh, yet released even in early access. So, as I said, we're gonna check this game out uh, and you can decide by yourself whether or not uh, this one is for you. In case you decide to try the game by yourself, uh, I will leave a link in the description of this video so let's not waste more time and just start a new game and of course like always i will do my best to comment and explain everything that's happened that's hap that is happening in the game and let's just see what do we have here amidst the desolate the desolate lands our community strives to survive uh, defying oblivion let us rise for from the ruins and ignite the first white flame the fir the fire of hope oh my gosh this was kind of weird <laughs> yeah excuse my poor dic english diction so that's our iron hive and let's get the first hand uh, of cards iron lord your ascension uh start a new era i don't know what this word means so i prefer to replace it you must vow to establish the legacy of our people throughout historical milestone. Okay, give me the next one. There are demands beyond the milestones that require your leadership. Overcoming them strengthens your skills and wisdom as Ireland Lord. Thank you so much for informing me about those details. If necessary, acquire new building plans at the heart of the Iron Hive. They are essential for the development of our community. Okay, so this is not just Iron Hive, this is the heart of the Iron Hive. Now, let's go step by step. The milestone, the main objective of the demo is to establish your legacy, rise 12 buildings uh, to achieve historical milestones. So we have to just, we have to build 12 buildings. And we have to do in for that in 40 turns. Uh, this is what uh, this uh, sentence says. It's a bit difficult to see it. It's because of the... No, it's not the font. It's the color of it. Uh, that's not important. The game is still work in prog progress. So, all good. Now, we have our cards. On this side we have uh, different type of resources we have to produce and manage and uh, we should be careful they do not run out. Uh, for now let's just pick uh, a new production plan or card, how they call it. I just want to try something different. Uh, I tried already the game, actually I streamed it yesterday. So I want to try different strategy this time. I will start with this building. It came out from my deck and I will place it just here. Now each building needs different type of materials and workers in order to be built. You can see that we need, uh, this is this is one piece of scrap. Uh, what was the name of this uh, resource? I cannot see it, uh, yeah, I will pull this one. This was manuscript, so two manuscripts and one elite worker. Uh, each card belongs to a different cast. So this is the work. These are the workers, the belief class, elite class, and there is also iron, iron hive. Uh, no, actually, they are hive workers class. Okay, now because we have one elite worker, we can place it uh, here, and uh, you can see that the construction of this building just begun. So we have to acquire the necessary materials. How are we gonna do that? Uh, we're gonna use those scrap piles uh, here on the side. Let's open uh, this menu and place one, 
to three workers there. You can place maximum three workers to scavenge materials. This is perfect, by the way. Really good combination. Um, we are getting three material cars. Oh, actually, just two. Uh, not a problem. Uh, we place the first one, we place the second one, and we are really close uh, to build the first first building. Uh, this card I will just keep and, give, and pass the turn. This will go in the discard pile and will give me one of those uh, resources. It's absolutely random. Think. Now, Iron Lord. Each new season demands uh, rigorous care with our resources. Without them, our survival hangs by a thread. Yeah, that's uh, obvious. And this is just explanation uh, about the resources. I will just keep that one just to go speed up the things a bit. But basically the supply, this is, these are the supplies, the, they represent food and if you run out of them, you'll starve your colony. Uh, yeah, this is the hive worker that we were missing in the beginning. The game also has quests, you can check them. So the first quest is uh, to gather different type of materials. Uh, you get experience from the quest. The experience is represented by a small orange bar around this face here. When we get a bit of experience, uh, you'll see it. Let's just play this card. It will give us two devotion. Um, and what we have to do first is to get another construction card. <laughs> what I wanted first. Yeah, let's get one. Supply station. This will start. This will start the production of supplies. You'll see a bit later why those resources are so important, even though they are not playing a role in the building, in the construction of the buildings. Uh, at least not direct role. Mm. These resources are important when the season finished you'll see that we'll get to that now to build this one again we need one worker and let's see what's the optimal we need scrap and organic materials uh, and what was the name again manuscripts oh my gosh <laughs> okay so let's place three workers again in that place they will scavenge is done and what this the, this building does is it will draw a card when you assign a worker to your buildings let's say if i have one worker as you see it's supposed to be lit uh, if i place it here uh, actually i have already one maybe i can no no leave it there um, and if i place one if i add one more it will draw another card from the deck uh, let's take the scrap metal. Advance on the next building. So we finish with this turn. We got a bit of experience. You can see the orange bar filling up. Mm -hmm. We want to build another building. And workforce resource. Can I place it on top of it? Perfect. Now, we just need one hive worker, and then what else? Uh, organic materials and scrap. Organic and scrap. This is not the best combination we can get. Mm -hmm. Organic and scrap. Mm, no idea why I chose this pile, but it has organic.
perfect let's construct the building and we start the supply production for 10 days we will get one supply and then we have to add uh, one or two organic materials to get more days mm -mm -mm. yeah the first random event is on passage admit amidst the debris during the excavation of a pile of debris a deep tunnel was discovered the air is heavy and suffocating and a moldy smell invades the scene the sense the senses uh <laughs> okay i'll just keep this word <laughs> I just stuck on it. Anyway, whispers uh, emanate from the walls, uh, heightening the sense of unease. Some believe that there are uh, forgotten riches, while others fear collapses of the unknown. Oh my gosh. When I face a new world, like, I just stuck. Yeah. Doesn't matter, that's not important, you know, so English is not my native language, it's absolutely normal. And we are presented with two choices, uh, I will take the first one, this will trigger a new quest, and yeah, collect materials, certain types of materials. Uh, I think I can do nothing else. And I don't want to lose this worker. I don't want to send it in the discard pile just like that. Um, so, this to not happen. I will just add it to this place. And then... Pass the time. Very good. Draw deck. Oops. Sorry. I just need a moment. Create manuscript materials. Nope. So, what was that? Construction is. Oh, so let's go with that one. Tell me that I can place it. No, I can't. Uh, in that case, I will place it on top of something else. Nope. I still can't. Can I do it like that? Yeah. Very good. One worker. And I want to concentrate on this building at the moment. Mm. This is the pile we need. I will use this worker here. And place two over there. Not exactly the optimal outcome, but at least it's something. And let's pass the time again. The Pale Eye. In recent days, many citizens have been tormented by nightmares where the moon appears as a disturbing pale eye, <laughs> watchful and judgmental. These unsettling dreams have left the people exhausted and fearful. Some say it's a omen, omen while others believe it's merely a coincidence. Let's see what kind of options we have. I just don't want to waste a lot of time on those, time, on those things. Increase devotion by two and order by one, but the negative outcome is decreases, decreasing supply and the workforce. Those two resources, actually I'm producing supplies already, so I can afford it. Perfect. Amazing. Mm -mm -mm. And we'll get to workforce thanks to that card. Now, let's get another building. Sacrifice. Nope, I don't want this one. Uh, actually, I'm building community workshop, right? And then I want also 
work chambers. This will allow me to hire good uh, to hire hive workers. This type of card. So, unfortunately, we don't have none of those resources. So, scrap and organic. This is a super third combination. Scrap and organic. Eh. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Two workers over there. And I'll just pass the time. I prefer to have three workers. The chance to get uh, more resources is higher. At least this is what the game says. Uh, no, this one stays here. Scavenge. Organic. Manuscript. Actually, I wanted to push on this building, right? This is what I said. Eh. So far, so good. And yeah, you can see the colony sim elements. Uh, you have to build uh, your colony. You have to manage uh, resources uh, for your colony. And uh, also you have to get materials for your buildings. Or, and also materials uh, to fuel your production. We have another event. The supply box. The pile of debris stood so high that uh, it leaned, but uh, what caught everyone's attention was a huge box uh, at its base. Inside there was uh, canned food, medicine, clean water and dried meat. The colony was ecstatic, demanding to divide the supplies. However, though times are approaching and uh, storing these precious resources could mean the difference between surviving the winter or perish. Good point, by the way. Increase workforce by three, decrease supply, increase supply by three. Uh, mm, I'm taking the, the second option because 25% chance to get a rumor card. Uh, yeah, I'm taking it. Yeah. Uh, so, the rumor card is... It will be explained a bit uh, later in the game. But uh, basically, you have to get rid of it and to solve the problem of the card. Uh, otherwise, uh, it will have a negative effect on your colony. Basically, is that... Uh, and collect reward. Oh, yeah, I think we level up. No, we didn't level up. We just finished the quest. Five experience and we just level up. Now, with each level, we can choose from three different rewards. Uh, and this will give me some workers extra. The blessing was uh, ability possibility to upgrade one of your existing cards and the command hmm, it gives some kind of special cards which in the beginning uh, are useless at least with my previous uh, runs they were just taking in the deck and i didn't have any possibility to play them now let's check uh, i want to finish this building i really do did i get Another construction card? Yes, I did. So... Mm. Let's send this dude to dig this pile. Uh, unfortunately, we got what we don't need so much. Yeah, I'm going a bit uh, faster through the game 
just because I want to make it shorter, <laughs> if, if that's pos it's possible. I don't think so, but still, I can try. Now, let's finish this building. And every time, what was uh, every time we will receive a resource, a resource card when we construct a new building to devotion. And one worker left in my hand. This worker I can place... Oh, come on! Nope! Exactly what we don't need. Struct. Get a new worker, send it, send the car to the deck. And if I want, I can create another one. It will. It will take four of my workforce resource and also will need four turns. Factory conspirator. Yeah, this is basically a dude who is disturbing my order. Let's just... No, I don't want to offer a special privilege. Yeah, capture the scoundrel. Cool. I didn't receive a rumor card again. It's my luckiest day. Don't forget to get a new production card. A building card. Something like that. Uh, 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 uh. One more turn and this season will finish. So you can see what's happened at the end of the season. Sylvan Force. At the height of spring, the community witnessed a rare phenomenon. Wildflowers of uh, indescribable color blossom amid the buildings. Some see this bloom as blessing, while others believe it uh, to be a sign of hidden forces infiltrating the colony. Yeah, hidden flower power f <laughs> forces. <laughs> uh, what kind of options we have? Uh, the first one, let's harvest the flowers. <laughs> it's a good idea, by the way. <laughs> Receive one organic material, decrease workforce by two. Uh, read the iron hive of this strange influence. Burn these flowers. Uh, let's burn the flowers. <laughs> decrease the workforce by two again, but I will get devotion, so. Oh, man. <laughs> This is the most stupid decision ever. Burn the flowers. <laughs> they have bad influence. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe it's time. It's time. <laughs> Yeah, 
It's time to build what's that order. I need elite workers because already five or six turns are gone and I didn't receive any elite worker or they're in the discard pile or I don't have any. Now, let's pass the time. Oh, okay, this was stupid. I could use the workers uh, to scavenge, but whatever. And yeah, the end of the season, uh, we have to maintain the, the costs of the community and each season we'll have to pay... Okay, each season is different, but in the beginning 5 supplies, uh, 7 uh, order and 5 beliefs. They got deduced from my total resources next season the, at the end of the next season the cost will be higher mm, yeah there you are hiding lurking in the shadows we also want to start devotion oh yeah this is devotion not belief the worker was believed. Yeah, excuse me, please. The game is also new for me. And definitely it will be not me if I don't mess uh, mess up something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's go for organic and uh, minerals. By the way, this one I can use in this place. Perfect. This can go there. Mm. Now let's use this worker to scavenge. The things are getting better. Okay, we start to produce workforce. Now we have to. Yeah, I think I'm taking care of that. Yeah, I'm producing orders, order, and devotion. This is what this building does. Oh, perfect. I spent all the materials. And yeah, guys, I hope you understand my explainings. <laughs> it's a bit hard for me, so please forgive me. I'm trying my best. Uh, yeah, this building is ready. And we produce belief. Let's see. Now, you can upgrade each building. And for that, the requirement is one. Ah, oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, this one synergizes with the Iron Hive. And what you don't know that uh, in the heart of the Iron Hive, there is one worker by default which is a hive worker and because this building is on top of it it synergizes with it yeah cool so i can just send it back uh, send it back in the discard pile and just dig for more materials mm, belief and no manuscripts and scrap so we're gonna dig here this is 
last one is ready. I'm getting one uh, elite worker. And to create a new worker, I will. it will cost me four belief. So, let's pass for now. Let's see the new event. Oh, I also level up. The Lost Tome. Yeah, basically they found a book and they want to burn it because they're superstition. Uh, or just uh, use it to learn something new. Mm, if I burn it, this will increase the order. Ah, okay, so this event uh, presents the stability mechanic in the game. It doesn't matter what uh, I'm going to choose, so probably I'll take plus three order. And let's see the, the this mechanic. Be wary, you have received a sign of collapse. When you accumulate three, you'll receive a rumor card. Yeah, this explains also the rumor card mechanics. Rumor cards represent uh, Im imminent problems. And that was, yeah. So... I hope I will get a rumor card so I can show it. Before I finish this run. Okay, we are pretty well set. Oh, this was a lot of beliefs, so I can get another elite worker then. Uh, well, Hold on, hold on, just a moment. Let's use them to get some resources. Uh, let's try here. I will tell you what my idea is. Let's finish this one. We got one production card, one production worker. Uh, and now, what else? Yeah, sacrifice card to generate devotion. Let's use this one over there. Uh, so, you remember earlier when I said that uh, this worker synergized with this building, but I'm not 100% sure that it's working uh, this way. We will, we will test that. Ascension rights, uh, yeah, some little dudes just grown up, and I have to decide in which cast uh, they they will belong, they will join. Um, let's receive some elite uh, workers. Actually, nothing happened, so all good. Mm, what this? Uh, yellow marker is saying is that I need to add some organic materials in order to continue pro continue producing uh, supplies. Uh, we're gonna fix that just in a sec. Perfect. Organic and minerals. This is what we need.
And one organic. <laughs> uh... Hmm, I guess they are not synergizing. Actually, I don't have a production worker in this place. I want to test that. that. I think they synergize, the building synergize, but not sure, not sure. First thing first, we need a belief worker. Finish this building. This is cool, by the way. You can burn cars. And. One, two, three. Yeah, let's build another blue building. Go on top of that one. And let's see, what do we need here? We need one scrap. And this building will become level 2. One scrap. Scrap and leave. Yeah, let's dig in this place then. Holy, really? I just spent three workers for one uh, material card. Oh my. This was a scam. But anyway, now I'm producing uh, plus two supplies per turn, which is cool. I want to do the same. This place. And huh. Interesting. Let's check this event. The scrap protocol. Uh, I'll just uh, skip that one. I don't want to read it. It's not a problem to read it. It's just I want to go through the season as fast as possible. Uh, very well. We should test your... Aha, uh -huh, okay. So, basically, some engineers, they build a prototype of something and I have to decide if I want to keep it or destroy it and send them back to work. Uh... Yeah, very well. And we receive a new card. Choose a card from your hand, transform it into scrap uh, material card. Not bad. What's going on here? Well, something happened. This is crossed for some reason. Hmm. Let's continue then. Belief and mineral. I thought I completed the quest, but it seems that I got different quests. More quests. Uh, let's use those cards. And one thing, probably I should explain that in the beginning, but there are a few different options here which are not available. And uh, if you watch the trailer on Steam, you will see that now. I'm locked in this area, I cannot go left or right, but if you watch the trailer on Steam, you will see that you can explore the wasteland, so you can go far, far away from your colony. 
and probably there will be some kind of combat mechanics also but yeah for to see that we will have to wait a bit I don't know how many buildings I have already. Four and two six and two more eight ten eleven. So I have to build just one more. Let's get that one. What am I missing here? Belief workers, right? Yeah. So This one is going to the deck. And we'll add this one. And we have also level 2 community workshop. This will produce plus 2 workforce per turn. Amazing. Let's pass the time. And probably when we complete this building here, the demo will finish. This is the limit. So what we do what we need is manuscripts and minerals. Actually the manuscript card I can take from no, it will take seven workforce. Then just let's scavenge. <laughs> of course, <laughs> we're gonna get something that we don't need. <laughs> let's see where I can apply this. Oh yeah, go to the deck. Uh, you also go to the deck. I can apply it nowhere. And then let's pass the time. Unwanted occupants. This one I don't know. Uh, the walkways accumulate drift and in the shadows of the foundations waste and garbage piles I think piles up aha uh, consequences of uh, this tricks with uh, so many buildings the stench is uh, uh, bad and the vicious uh, liquid spreading through the bases seems to be alive Ah, creatures have been sighted at the first day seems to be rats, but uh, they are deform deformated figures bring this uh, conclusion into question. The signs of disturbing. Ah yeah, we don't like rats. Cle yeah, clean the field. Uh, I don't care that... Uh, I will lose two workforce. Yeah, just clean it. What's that? It does the complexity. Yeah, this is one of those cards that I don't know what they are doing. Um, probably this one can be added to the rumor cards or if there is a situation to reduce the complexity of solving a problem. I couldn't show you that unfortunately. That's unfortunate. Mm, wait, I did it just like that but... Yeah, one mineral is good. And uh, so to complete this one we need manuscripts. Finally I learned the names of the material cards. Not all of them. 
and by default <laughs> and my luck again we got to what uh, we don't need So let's just dig for manuscript manuscripts. Create this building and yeah, this was the the demo. Uh, I couldn't show you so many things. Uh, uh, actually not so many things but at least the rumor cards uh, and uh, the special not events uh, special situations but this is because I already played uh, the game few times I also stream it and more or less I was prepared and I knew what I had to do and let's check uh, what do we have here with masterful command and leadership you have led the iron hive towards a promised future the citizens looks to you for guidance and the next steps uh, promise even greater challenges new buildings new technologies and new challenges will appear the only way to be remembered is to build our legacy Will you lead your people toward eternity or destruction? <laughs> Most likely destruction. And yeah, guys, this was Iron Hive. Uh, you can download the demo by yourself so you can try the game. Uh, I think this is a really promising title. I enjoyed my time with it. Uh, and uh, yeah, normally if I stream a game or create content about game, it's because I like it and yeah if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you want to support my work even further don't hesitate to smash the subscribe button and ring the notification bell take it easy thanks for watching and I will catch you again pretty soon I'm signing off